Okay, welcome to part six of this tutorial, and actually the last part. Uh, in this, what we're going to do is create another neck pocket, a copy, sort of, because the one in the Terry Downs drawing is for a vintage telly, and it is actually a little bit wider than the current standard of two and three sixteenths at the widest part of the heel. So let's draw a new one. So the easiest way to start is with a rectangle. Okay, let's draw a rectangle and we're going to set the height so to about three and a quarter. Now neck pockets three or all right, I decided to change my mind. Three and a half. You know, neck pocket is is three inches long, but we want this to extend past so we can machine it correctly. And we're going to change the corner radius to a quarter inch, which just happens to be the radius on a telly heel. And you saw we set the width to 2.1875, which is translates to two and three sixteenths. Now, this is the one thing with I said earlier about cam bam. Sometimes it's a little hard to get things to line up perfectly and move to where you want. So sometimes you have to really zoom in, especially when you're not using snap to grid because your lines don't fall on a grid line. So you can see uh, I zoom, zoom in closer and closer and closer, and it's still not right on there. So, you know, just move it again. I mean, you know, we're talking, you know, being off a thousandth of an inch. So, it's really not bad, but you can get it pretty close. And there we go. And we're going to zoom out. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is actually make sure we are in the center. So we're going to transform and align and we're going to do center on the X. We don't have to worry about the Y and the Z. And apply. So now our new neck, that new neck pocket is right uh, centered on the center line. Perfect. But we have to take deal with the taper now because as we all know neck pocket is not straight on both sides it tapers so let's draw another rectangle and we're going to draw it right at the end of the original neck pocket And the height doesn't really matter that much. But the width, what we're going to set is what the width of a standard telly neck is at 3 inches up from the heel. And I had to do a little geometry to calculate that. And then I actually found... A reference on the web for it so I know that's correct. So I want to make sure that the top of my new little rectangle is right uh, at the end of the current neck pocket or the original. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to draw a couple lines here and what these lines are going to be used for are to break the drawings. Because when you select multiple objects and they intersect, you can do an operation it's called break and intersection. So I'm going to select that new large neck pocket or standard size neck pocket. Select the two little lines I drew Go to edit and break it intersections. And you give it a tolerance. Um, 
And you can see there that it broke those three lines into multiple lines. And you can see now, when I select that, that it's gone. So let's delete those parts that we don't need, those lines. Okay. So now you can see that if I select what's left there, it's the original um, neck pocket that I drew, drew, this new standard neck pocket. And when you double click or go on the thing and do edit, you can see that the control points show up. So when you just click and drag, I'm now going to drag it over to that narrower rectangle I drew to define the width or the slope of the neck pocket. Now I'm going to do break it intersections again because I snapped those together so you can see that that rectangle is broken apart so I can get rid of the pieces that I don't need and then I can select the pieces that are left that I want and I'm going to do a join on them this is going to create a single polyline for the new standard neck pocket. Not much difference really than the Terry Downs drawing, but it is the new standard. So there we go. And that's it. Um, you know, we've seen how to create the machining operations and to actually drill, you know, um, cut the pocket out. So I'm not going to go through that. Anyways, that's the end of this tutorial on Kanban. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to make. Um, and if you have any questions, you can just leave, leave send me a message or um, respond into the thread on TDPRI. Thanks.